Hello. So, I guess I've never actually said my name. It's, um, Easy Days. And these are my coils I've wound on. They're like two and a quarter inch air coils. They're sorted from least inductance up to most inductance. And then they have capacitors tied in between. So this is basically one cell. This would be another. So all, to, all together I'd have mm, six cells of that mm, dollar longitudinal test thing. Um, so it's 25, 26.5 kilohertz. And I have my signal generator on the ground side, the hot side. And on the other side, this yellow line runs over to this LED panel. So I can change the frequency down a little bit. It goes out and go up and it goes on. Mm, it probably has something to do with a 12 volt threshold. So going lower in frequency. The probe is on the output. The ground isn't actually connected to the circuit. But it's still ground, so in order to make this work, this ground is shorted across this capacitor. The signal goes away, the LED goes out, connect the ground, and everything works great. So that's just the signal ground across this capacitor. So I should really just get rid of this capacitor. So if I up the frequency to 34.5, the LEDs are lit, and I don't have to short that across the ground. Um, and I may be able to connect. Right, I can still have a signal in the bolts. I don't know why that's not triggering right. So this is just before it comes on, and then it comes on, and then I can go back down a couple ticks, and I have to go back up just a couple ticks. If I and then it snaps into resonance, and the lights could pop on. And there is a frequency, right, just as it's turning on, that it's sensitive enough to, I don't know, touch the coils. And it kicks it over into the resonance, and then it takes a while to fall back out. So I did go through and test, and each cell with two coils and two capacitors resonated about 33.7. And if I connected the output and the lights as, as the input, they all lit up. So I would think that their resonant frequency was somewhere around 33 without the scope attached. Um, yeah. But that's just double the frequency. So I began to remove these coils. So then having removed this coil from both ends and this coil, so now I just have two capacitors and the end coils and light, my probe fell off again. There you go. Stay. But now I'm down to forty seven kilohertz. So removing the coils does change it a little. I guess because... I don't know why. So there's one coil 
on the end of this capacitor, which turns out I don't even need. I just ground it. this coil back on the end. So I have two capacitors in series. And if that lights up, 48 kilohertz. And I can reattach these coils. And... Okay, I'm not sure where I left off. Except, um... This is now one, two, three four that are all connected. This is my final, but it's not um, it's connected to there. This one's not connected to the next one, but it is on the other side. And this is my original signal in. This is one scope near the signal, which is this blue sine wave. And that's my resonant output, and I'm not connected with my load. Which makes a better square weight and nice light. Mm, 36 kilohertz, which is the unmonitored frequency between there. If I connect um, this one, there to here and I get an extra dip in that and then if I also move the load closer and I get more uh, different signals a higher voltage there actually. And if I just disconnect that and a bit more like that, then really I'm tapping the power here, so my scope's over here, and I don't get, I mean, I get some jagged signal. So it says that that noise is at like 500 kilohertz, and that's too bright and washed out. Um, So I can take the power off the bottom side of that one, and sorry for the black. I can connect that. I 
don't know, that's 35 kilohertz through transmitting through four of these, so I was mistaken because previously I started from this end and disconnected like all the bottoms and I ended up grounding all the bottoms and the resonance was between the last coil and total capacitance and I don't know, it wasn't at all what I was looking for I guess. But this isn't giving me I mean, I'm getting the same output voltage no matter where I'm at along the, the circuit. I can pick it up from just any side opposite one of these. These are almost. Um, I think I hit the button. It's not inductive. Oh, I'm still attached here. So if I have those together, I can get almost a signal on the output. But I really need to electrically tie this capacitor together between the two coils. It's like 312 kilohertz. I wonder what that looks like. I don't know. It's not a resonant frequency. That's a nice square wave. There we go. Reattaching that to the top gut gives me a square wave on the bottom, which gives me a strange oscillation. So, I get 12 volts 